She's gonna be okay. Her heartbeat steady. Rachel, can you hear me? She's so cold. <sighs> what happened? We were no. I can't feel you. Light. Like, I'm smelling this maple syrup. And I, I'm just smelling this maple syrup without the pain of everyone, like, flowing through me all the time. It's through you every second of every day. I don't know. I just feel like I've got a responsibility as, like, a titan. I don't know. Isn't it? Needed a break. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't mean to say that, like, it was your responsibility to be a titan. Because I know you're happening to me. Stranger than being blasted blonde. The witch had attacked us. Weird. If I can just. I take it back about being normal. Um, nope, when you're in the middle of the creepy woods. Being normal sucks. Look. Where? The sky. Can't you see it? In the police station. You needed help. Trust me, you did. Sebastian, um, the woman at the police station, what did she say? One. That's it. And then the second. No. No. That's Left at the asylum. They're all gone. What if they're not? Come on. It's a cult. My dad's cult. Your dad led a cult. Yeah. He's the reason I came to Earth. To kill him. Well, to kill me. I'm just, like, telling him the facts. It's too bad. No, there's something here. <laughs> yeah, they've got power tools, fresh groceries, and a hunting section. Gar. See, this is her when she was young. The what? Trigon, the child. The mark. What? Like this. Don't, I don't know anything about any hope. They want you to be. They want me to be what? But you don't have to be. No, no, no. Buddy is touching him. Okay, everybody. Get in, Rachel. All because of me. No, but there's no time for that right now. I think this is exactly the right time. Hey, Bernard, is there room for one more? Thanks, Rachel. So alone. I know I'm awake now. But this feels the same. I know how you feel. But in the dream, you don't get a choice. You do have a choice, Sebastian. I'm a child of Trigon, too. And I made the choice to become a Titan. Because you do get a choice. And you'll make the right one. I know you will. Dick really needs to talk to someone about the Titans merchandising. Like, I can barely find a mug. Hey, how's life on the outside? Oh. Oh. OK, that's nice of him. Um, do you want anything, like chips or something? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah? And don't play Monopoly without me. It is going to be... Super, yeah. Got it. Yeah. What if Sebastian is not Rachel? Like... Hey, do you guys have, like, five dollars? What the hell are you doing? Getting chips. Why are you patrolling my sodium intake now? The silo with Connor, like you wanted to give me a break? What's going on? I did. Hey. I'll go diner.
pick is going to save my life. Isn't there somewhere else we can go, like a, a witness protection thing? You brought us here. I'll fill you in later. There's... Don't listen to her. You're not hers. That is precisely the problem. And he doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to. He won't be able to resist his destiny. Wow. Mm-hmm. Straight no chaser. That is a lot of... That is what being a titan is all about. The snacks. Mundic's not looking, of course. You're okay. I gotcha. Do you? What is that? Do you see... Hey, hey, hey. Come on. I was gonna eat that. Well, you're not anymore. <laughs> what did you do? She has seen what you fated. Corey, no. You aren't gonna kill him? No. Hey, that vision you had, I was there too. Like, I saw it. All of us together at the park? Yeah. I know this is like none of my business and there's a lot going on right now, but I think that's why I need to say something. But in Gotham, in the Lazarus pit, when I was sucking up all the nightmares, I saw what Dick saw, the vision too. And it was pretty much exactly like yours. The Red Balloon. He sacrificed himself to save us. A chance to save him. Yes. Hot take. We're not doing that. What is it? We're not murderers. First place. That was different. Hey. We're not killing Sebastian. Hero. Organize? Yeah. What makes you think you can get me my powers back? Okay. Okay, well, I never said I could get you your powers back. I said I had a spell to help you find them. <clears throat> You can still feel them, can't you? Like a phantom limb, or when someone you love dies. They might be gone, but the connection's always there. Yeah, that's how it feels. Mm -hmm. So your powers couldn't have been taken from you unless a part of you wanted to lose them. You think I wanted this to happen? Well, well you tell me. You've done a lot of amazing things in your life, but you've never just been normal. Being normal yeah, that's felt pretty good. <laughs> Maybe being normal is a little overrated. Uh, yes, I could not agree more. So, Raven, let's get started. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Start eating. Okay. Why does it smell like pineapple? pineapple mango? Yeah, that's my conditioner. But you know, that doesn't help. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Ooh, quickly, like ripping off a band-aid. I'd say it's happening just in fucking time. Rachel's useless. Gar's losing. I'll reach out, search for my powers, and then from there I should be able to zone in on Sebastian. Sick, isn't it? Searching for air. Searching for sunlight. Searching for you. Connor, now we have no choice. Can't we teleport them both out? No. No, you. Rachel. I have no idea. Sebastian, come on, please, it's not. 
Congratulations! 